Hi, I'm David Brown, and this is my guy runner, Roland Slade. We run with a tether, and basically my tether is a shoestring, and I we tied it to a point where we can loop it around our fingers, and um, he has his fingers in two hoops, and I have my fingers also in two hoops, and um, we have to run basically like a three-legged race. Our arms got to be in sync, our legs have to be in sync so we won't trip up, and um, I run blindfolded, so Roland is basically my eyes, so he's communicating with me all the way around the track, whether it's on the 100 meter or the 200 meters. If we're running a 200, you know, he says curve, curve, and when he we hit the straight, he says straight, and if we're like in a 100, he say drive, drive, you know, just whatever, you know, we need to do in the race in order to, you know, get to the finish line and finish strong. So David, what's on your mind right when you're about to, you're at the Olympics, you're about to have your race, what's on your mind? Walk me through it. Well, when I'm there, basically, the reality of being there is already going to pass over. So, basically, my game face is going to be on, and what's in my mind at that time is not to get too intimidated. So my mindset going out into any meet now is just looking at it like it's practice. Basically, when you're at practice, you know, you just get out there and you just do it. So I go out there with the mindset of this is practice to me. I'm going to go out there, work on my dry phase, work on getting up and, you know, running fast and just, you know, getting a good time down. And David, what are you going to do when you win? Cry. <laughs> just overwhelming. I mean, that would probably be the first thing I do. Just, just, I know tears is going to be flowing. And then after that, I mean, I just have to, being the Christian I am, just going to have to bow my head and just thank God because all glory and honor goes to Him. He helped me get it. He helped me get to where I'm at today. You know, I can't help but thank Him. And what do you feel? What does it feel like to represent the United States? It's an honor. It's it's a big honor. I mean, to represent my country, it's it's not just an honor. It's a privilege. I mean, if I had my sight, I'd say I would be in the military right now because, you know, I just love my country, and this is the next best thing to represent them. You know, put on the red, white, and blue. And I call it my armor because I say I go, I'm going into battle, you know, for my country. And, you know, the track, that's my battleground. And, you know, we're going to do war. So, David, let's talk about if you medal, your partner medals. Uh, do you call him a partner, a teammate? What do you call him? I call him, you know, my guide, my coach, my brother, you know, <laughs> my eyes. He's a lot more than just a partner, man. I mean... Best friend, yo, we, we close. <laughs> so tell me how you feel about it. If, if he medals or when he medals at the Olympics, you're going to get a medal too. Th that's pretty cool. Uh, when they told us that that was going to happen, I mean, that's that's a, an amazing honor to, to have that. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's great, but I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited, you know, for David. You know, it's, it's just an amazing thing to be a part of and be a blessing. I mean, we're a team. But I'm just, I'm really happy, you know, to, to be alongside of him doing this. Go, Go Team, team USA! USA. <laughs>